Spinal Decompression Therapy is gaining support in the medical community and giving back pain patients new hope. In very simple terms, during spinal decompression therapy, a patient reclines and a gentle pull calculated specifically for that individual patient works in an effort to relieve pressure between discs and allow the back to begin a natural healing process. It wasn't painful at all. It, it, it was very comforting. I, I felt, you know, in, in the pulling, the pulling just kind of helped ease some of the pain, ease some of the pressure that was going on. So I, I always look forward to getting on the machine. After the treatment, I, I really miss coming and, and being treated like I was at a spa. Um, the treatment was very comfortable and it was very relaxing. At the end of some of the treatments, you felt like you had been through a good workout, like you had gone to the gym and worked out. So who is a candidate for this procedure? Well, the literature on spinal decompression therapy says it can provide relief for herniated discs, degenerative discs, sciatica, general lower back pain, and even failed back surgery. We've been talking about the success stories of spinal decompression therapy. Let's talk about the science behind it and exactly how it works. Before we talk about the science behind it, let's review the anatomy of what we're trying to fix. This is a picture of your lower back. The lower back has bones, which are called vertebrae. They have discs, which separate the space between the bones, and they have nerves. The disc is like a jelly donut. When you put too much pressure on it, the jelly squirts out. When it does that, it can touch the nerve and cause pain in the back, in the lower back, or down your legs. The object or the science behind spinal decompression is to be able to take the disc that's affected and relieve the pressure on that disc by gently distracting the two bones, the, the one on the top, the one on the bottom, creating a negative pressure inside that disc and allowing for the jelly to go back in its place. Now, when you think of pulling the spine, an awful lot of people think of traction, and in fact, there's a substantial difference between traction and spinal decompression therapy. What is the difference? The main difference is that with traction as we know it, uh, for years just puts a general load pulling the entire spine. It does not differentiate between the different levels of the discs. By using motorized spinal decompression, we're able to change the angle of the pull and target specifically the disc that's affected. And that you get much better results than with just standard traction. Now I know talking to people around the country, they'd say, well, this is kind of a rack and it's gonna pull me and that's gonna hurt. Now I know for me it was a very comfortable experience. What is the comfort level for the majority of your patients? My patients when they come in are a little apprehensive the first time that they get on the machine. Once they get on it, they all react the same way. There is a, an, an immediate sense of relief once the machine starts to pull and they look at you and go, my pain's gone. After that, it's just a matter of they get comfortable with it and the majority of them sleep through the procedure. If you're suffering from back or neck pain, I encourage you to contact your local spinal decompression doctor and at the very least do the basic research to see if you're a candidate for this emerging treatment. It's helped thousands of people find relief from chronic back and neck pain and it's prevented countless surgeries. It changed my life and it could change your life too. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ren Scott. Good luck and be well.